Learn and play online. In today's video, we are going to learn some fun facts about bees. Bees are fascinating flying insects that play a crucial role in maintaining a healthy ecosystem in our world. They are the reason why we are able to enjoy a wide range of resources, particularly food. In fact, bees contribute to around one third of the food that we eat. This is because they incidentally pollinate the thousands of plants they visit each day. We will revisit pollination a little bit later. Let's now first learn more interesting facts about bees themselves. A bee's body is made up of three parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. A bee's eyes are located on its head. Bees have two large compound eyes on the sides of their head, and they have three simple eyes located at the top of their head. Yes, you counted right. Bees have five eyes in total. The compound eyes help bees to see shapes, whereas the three simple eyes help it to see light. Also located on the head are the antennas. These are used for smelling and feeling. Bees also have mandibles, which are used for grabbing food and biting. And lastly is the proboscis, which is used to drink water, nectar and honey. The thorax is where you will see the wings and legs of a bee. Bees have six legs and four wings. They have a pair of wings on each side of their body. Their incredible wings allow them to flap between 180 to 250 times per second. As for the legs of a bee, the front legs are especially designed to clean the antennas. The back legs are used to collect pollen in a pollen basket, which is located on a bee's hind legs. Each of the six legs have claws on the ends that assist a bee with gripping and landing on different surfaces. The largest part of a bee's body is the abdomen, and it's probably the most well-known body part as it's where the stinger is located at the very end. Stinging is usually a bee's last resort for self-defense, as sadly, once it decides to use its stinger, it will typically result in the death of a bee. Bees have existed for around 30 million years, and although they are commonly known as little insects with black and yellow stripes, they actually come in different colors and some species even have spots. Did you know that there are over 20,000 species of bees in the world? They range in size from just 2 millimeters to 4 millimeters in length. Not all bees are social. There are many who live a solitary life, meaning they live alone. Even though they live alone, they often nest close to one another. Unlike social bees, solitary ones do not have a queen, and they do not produce any honey. Some solitary species include mason bees, carpenter bees, and the hairy-footed flower bees. Bees that live together in hives or colonies are social bees. They include some popular species like the honeybees and bumblebees. Within a beehive, there are three main roles that a bee would have, which include queens, drones, and worker bees. The queen bee is essential because without her, there would be no hive. Once selected and matured, her role is to mate, reproduce, and spend the rest of her life in the hive laying eggs. A healthy queen bee can lay up to 2,000 eggs per day, and she is also the one who lives the longest in the colony, surviving up to five years. Unlike worker bees, a queen bee can sting multiple times and still survive. Now let's move on to drone and worker bees. It is easier to tell the difference between drone and worker bees up close. Drones are male bees and are typically wider in size and have rounder abdomens and much larger eyes in comparison to worker bees. They do not have stingers and they do not collect pollen. Their primary role is to mate with the queen so that she can produce eggs. Worker bees have the busiest role in the colony. So the saying, as busy as a bee, is referring to worker bees as they work from the time the sun rises right up until sunset. Younger working bees have the job of taking care of bee larvae, feeding the queen, cleaning the hive, and processing and storing nectar, as well as making honey. Older worker bees have a hugely important job to go foraging to bring back water, nectar, and pollen for the whole colony. Because they have to go foraging away from the hive, older worker bees have the riskiest and most tiring job of all, as they are put in the face of danger from predators every time they leave the hive. Regardless of the dangers they face, worker bees carry out their duties to ensure the survival and growth of the colony. While carrying out their jobs, bees play a vital role in the process of pollination. 
Pollination is when the male part of the flower is transferred to the female part so that fertilization can occur. And this is how bees help to fertilize flowers. While bees are foraging through the flowers that they visit, they rummage through the male part of the flowers called the stamen. This is where pollen is produced. As the bees explore the flower to collect pollen, the pollen gets stuck on their furry bodies. And as the bees continue to move around, they incidentally place pollen in the female parts of the flowers called the stigma. When this happens, the flower is able to produce seeds which results in the growth of new flowers. It is believed that bees visit thousands of flowers in just one day, so you can imagine just how much pollen they are able to collect. The more flowers they visit, the bigger the pollen basket on their hind legs become. Once they have collected all the pollen they can carry, worker bees bring it back to the hive so that it can be fed to the young. Even though bees play a crucial role in pollinating our crops, they are not the only pollinators in the world. Other pollinators include butterflies, birds, beetles and even bats. Bees have quite a short lifespan. Depending on the species, bees can live between 17 to 60 days. And as you can see, they manage to make a huge impact on our environment in the short amount of time that they survive. Unfortunately, the population of bees are on the decline. There are several factors for this, including disease, loss of habitat, and the use of dangerous chemicals that are fatal to bees. So the next time you see a bee, remember to leave it alone because it is doing an important job, not only for itself or its colony, but also for us humans too. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe for more videos.